Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to Starbound Fracken Universe. When we last left off, we were doing some quests and just trying to make some progress in Yule Fracken Universe. And we're going to probably continue some more of that today, so let us jump in. And the first thing we want to do is work on this Ignis Chili stuff. So we want a Pyrogenic, which uh, it's kind of difficult to uh, actually unlock this thing. I'm not... Uh, According to the wiki, it's unlocked by an, an, an anemic flower, anemic flower, something like that. But the thing is, in order to get that flower, you have to craft it, which requires a pyrogenic. Or you probably find it somewhere out in the world. Somehow, I, I had access to this, presumably, due to randomly picking up it in a chest. We'll look into stuff like this uh, more in depth in the future but for now it's made with dna samples and volatile powder so we just need to make one of those reactives are made of hydrogen which you can get by extracting water which makes hydrogen and oxygen for you plus a dna sample dna samples where did we get those again i think we got that by just chucking meat in an extractor that sounds about right and of course resistance is made of silicon which of course silicon sand you just chuck sand in an extractor and there you go. Incidentally, these things and a lot of our, like, top-of-the-line stuff requires power. So this lab of ours, we're actually going to have to do more work on it. So it's not just, like, this series of little corridors here. We're going to have to expand. We're going to need... I placed a nuclear reactor down there. But we are going to have to do some stuff with it. Also, I am slowly working on getting stuff uh, worked out. You may remember... The, uh, StarTech mod and, uh, what was it? Steambound Reloaded? Which kind of let you do stuff like this, where you have your little input devices and you wire them on into the thingamabob here. And then from the thingamabob, you can pull stuff out. Basically, all that's been kind of rolled into Fracken Universe, so you get cool stuff like that going on now. Very cool, very nifty. Anyway, let us jump on in and go over here. I need to reorganize this whole lab at some point so that it's more effective. All right. Oh. Ignis, what what am I missing? I am missing more pyrogenic, so we need more powder for that. And volatile powder is not that difficult to get a hold of. In fact, hopefully I have it already in here. Yeah, look at that. The only thing I don't like about this is I have... Well, there's probably a way to do it, but I haven't figured it out yet because I just kind of slapped things down here real quickly. Like, is there's no way to just request one at a time. As far as I can tell. So, that does cause a little bit of discomfort there for me, personally, because, you know, it just makes my life more difficult, but oh well. Also, eventually I'm going to have to create a system to pump items back in, and we'll want a couple more of these terminals scattered around our base in order to, or around all our crafting stations, so that, effectively, we can just take out what we need, put it back in when we're done, and not have to run around. Make our life so much simpler. I, I, I have it now, right? Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here's what it, we need. The Anima flower. This is the only thing I saw on the wiki that specifically says it'll unlock the ability to craft the pyrogenic. So I have to assume you can find this stuff lying around somewhere. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and assemble that. Bada bing, bada boom. What else do we have? Mites? I haven't figured out exactly what unlocks making the anti-mite frame yet. Kind of wish the quest mentioned that part so that, you know, you could really get up to there. Blast furnace. Yes. Black glass. That is, that's pretty simple. We just need black dye and glass. And that is all pretty straightforward, so we won't talk too much about how you do that. You just uh, go in here and... Oh, you don't go in here. Never mind. You go over here. There you go. And then we'll just hit materials available, which apparently we have a lot of materials available, which is pretty cool. But we'll just go ahead and craft ourselves a little bit of glass. Bada bing, bada boom. And last but not least, the Cthulhu statue. This one's going to kind of interesting because I'm not entirely sure how I acquired it, but I have gone back off camera a number of times and fought in the frozen wastes, so I assume... Plus, it falls under, like, the same category here of artifacts. Like, apparently somewhere I picked up this abhorrent statue and mysterious machine. 
I don't remember ever picking that up. Or this, for that matter, this Cthulhu statue. But apparently I acquired it somewhere. We're still actually missing a couple of creepsy crawly things to finish out our collection. But I think you can also get those things in randomly generated elder biomes in the uh, out in the world. So we won't worry too much about that. I also need to figure out where I want to put like an actual teleporter core. Probably down in the lab somewhere. But anyway, let's go to the outpost. Alrighty then. So quests and progress are happening. Bada bing, bada boom, we got your chili and your specimen. Which gave us a skull cap? Skull cap, right. Gotcha. And I already know how to make it, so this was completely useless. You fool. You foolish fool. Yes, after what happened to Earth. Don't forget Earth. The Earth shall rise again. Much like the South. All right. Were you always there, sitting up on the roof? You seem like a new person. I might want to go talk to you. What do you got for me? AI is expressly forbidden on my homeworld, but I need an AI chip for my research. Can you please bring me one? I could reward you nicely. All right. What do I need for a regular old AI chip? I forget. Let's see. AI. Morphite, which we created, and a quantum processor. Well, I created the Morphite off-camera. It's not that difficult. We'll look into... Where is Morphite made, anyway? I forget. It's not made here. We also apparently haven't made Zephyrosite yet. We'll get around to that. It's surely not made here. Yeah, it's not made here. But it is crafted at one of these stations. And I always get all these stations mixed up. It's at something. But we'll worry about that by the by. Ah, here we go. Turn this in. You and your nice monocle. Could you give me your monocle, Haruto? I think I have a monocle. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do. I just wish I could combine the monocle with the top hat. In fact, I suppose if I took the five minutes it would take to actually learn how to mod, I could probably combine my top hat with a monocle. But I'm apparently too lazy to do that, so... Alas, it shall not happen. Fantastic work. Truly amazing. Thank you for the help. As thanks, here's payment for your troubles. All right. Now, before we go around, let us see if there are any other quests while we are here. Aha! Wait, is it you? Morphite. Yes, it's this. The biochem lab. What does morphite require? Carbon, liquid protocyte, protocyte, phase matter, and sulfuric acid. All of which we have, so we can always make more of it. And what was the other thing required for the AI chip? Uh, already forgot. What what do you what do you need, sir? Mr. AI chip. You require a quantum processor, which requires advanced processors and protocyte bars. And advanced processors require circuit boards and tungsten bars. Alright, so we need protocyte and circuit boards and tungsten. So back to the uh, secret lab. Not the sacred lab. Oh wait, there's a quest. Gotta make sure we unlock all the quests before we leave. That way we can make more progress. There is an expensive but very powerful piece of technology called an arc smelter, which will increase smelting yields a great deal. Prove you can build one with your power station, and I'll toss you a bonus. Alright, bonuses are always nice. I do enjoy a good bonus. But, right, right, before we leave, I want to talk to that Florin on the roof. This also may or may not be a shorter video. And I am also looking, since uh, Chucklefish has been kind of quiet lately... I, I might start that Alephian Races playthrough that I was talking about now, rather than wait for 1.3 to come out. Hesitant to publish these findings, some things should not be shared, but instead stabbed. Alright, I mean, that's pretty true about life. I mean, uh, that is a good point. There are some things in life that... Man and Florence were, and Glitch and other races were not meant to know. But, on the other hand, what's the point in knowledge if you cannot... Uh, or what's the point in acquiring forbidden knowledge if you don't share it with people? Like, what's the point in knowledge, period, if you're not going to go for the forbidden stuff? I mean, it worked out pretty well for Adam and Eve, you know, aside from getting kicked out of the garden and no longer getting to just walk around naked all day. Which apparently was pretty good, because they didn't have to hunt or fight or feel pain, according to that. 
But, uh, then again, we wouldn't have the internet, so... If you want to make such arguments. I'm not sure why I'm getting into a biblical thing there. Don't ask. Don't ask. I just thought it would be funny. Alright, tungsten, and what was the other thing we need? Protocyte. We also need our protocyte. Do I even have protocyte? Oh, I do. Nice. Ah, though here's the rub. It occurs to me as I, uh, kind of get everything together here, is I'm going to get these gaps, and then when I start stuffing stuff back in, it might not go to the right places. But then again, I think there's filters and thingies to, uh... Yeah, what you want. What was what, the last thing I'm... Circuit boards, of course, of course. Again, we're gonna need to make more of these. The lab is gonna be fully automated at some point. I don't know when, but it will be someday. Oh, tech cards. Learn to craft la... Wait. I only just learned to craft that? That's not you, is it? No, you're not a lab screen. That would be weird. But then again, I find that happens sometimes. Stuff that I've crafted before, and I know how to make already, I sometimes end up unlocking the blueprints or something, which I assume is because Fracken Universe is updated almost every day, so recipes and things keep changing. There we go. And there we go. And what do I need for the AI chip? A never quantum processor. Which just requires a little... Uh, excuse me, sir. A bit of this. A little bit of that. And a tiny amount of this. Alright, bring the AI chip back. But before we do that, we need to make an arc smelter, you say. I haven't done that quest yet, Ifer. Alright. Arc smelter. Let's see here. Arc smelter. Arc smelter. I assume I need to make the blast furnace first. Alright, so what does that require? Power cores, advanced allies, and more quantum processors. Plus core fragments. Oh, boy. This is gonna take a while. You know what? No, I don't really feel like going through all that, because it's probably gonna take a while. Unless I actually have all this stuff on hand, which... Apparently I have a couple of the things on hand. I have core fragments, at least. And I should be able to make at least one more quantum processor. Uh, excuse me, sir. Quantum processor... Quantum processor. All right. Oh dear. All right. Advanced alloys and power cores. That's all we need. Wait, let's make sure we have the right amount. Two and eight. Gotcha. All right. It's a good thing I have most everything on hand already. Except for power cores, apparently. What about advanced plastic? I have advanced plastic, not advanced... Uh, Wait, what was it called again? Advanced Alloy. Ooh, that's gonna be a tricky one. Where do I craft that? I craft it here. And this requires Zerkesium, Lead, and Penumbrite. Ugh. Just a never-ending... Never-ending thing here, isn't it? Well, we've got some Zerkesium. And do we have Penumbrite? Oh dear. We don't have Penumbrite. At least not the shards. Crap. All right, so we're not we're not doing that one today. Let's just go back to the science outpost, and everything will be okay. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters to me is that we at least made some progress. Thanks, I've transferred payment for your troubles directly to your account. Why, thank you. And there's a new quest up there. So many quests. What was it? There's like over over a thousand or over three hundred or something. A fission reactor. I see. Wait, I think I have a fission reactor. Alrighty then, so I actually decided... Wait, what's this? Acquire tritium. Or tritium. We've already got that. Hang on, what's this quest all about? Uh... Let's see. Sure, you can make one using your power station and bring me tritium. I have tritium though, don't I? I don't. Okay. Because, I mean, we do have the fission reactor right here. Like a so. But I off-camera went off and gathered the materials for the other thing. I clearly misunderstood what this quest was about. 
All right, tritium. Tritium, huh? What's this? That's our black glass. Gotcha. Don't we have uh, tritium in here somewhere? There's trianglium. Uh, deuterium, plutonium, neptunium. Huh. Oh, right, right, right. We got all the stuff here for our alloys, so let's make ten of them. Cool stuff. Uh, let's see, tritium. Tritanium, no. Huh. Show me you can make one using your power station and bring me some tritium. So is tritium a waste product of the power station? I mean, that's my assumption. So if I were to stick fuel in there, you would get tritium back. You know what? I'm going to quickly look that up and I'll be right back again. All right, yeah. So to confirm, it is in fact a waste product of our power generator here. Though you can also randomly extract it or if you're making deuterium in an arc smelter you can also end up crafting it so we'll come back to that later but uh for now back to the science outpost for one last time to wrap this episode up with huh also as it turns out i actually forgot to make the arc smelter but all right let's see yes arc smelter oh good god <laughs> Alright, we've got a lot of work to do, so I will acquire the ingredients and the tritium we need for next time. But uh, for now, that's where we're going to wrap this episode up, so until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.